hello guys welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is harriet and as you can see by the title today i'll be traveling to colorado and i thought it'd be a fun video if i take you guys with me so here we go It's 4 a.m. in the morning right now, and as you can see, I'm not really a morning person. But I had to be early because last time I was traveling was to Utah. And I slept so late that I ended up missing my flight, and I was not trying to make the same mistake again. So, yeah, I had to be early for these flights, y'all. That way, I don't have to miss anything behind, and I have to be on time. And here's me guys after like 30 minutes because I'm really a bitch in the morning y'all. I need about 30 minutes to an hour for me to be normal otherwise yeah it's just not gonna end well for both of us. So that's why I'm always like needing some me time in the morning that way my brain can go back to normal again but yeah here's me. And without wasting time, I had to call the Uber and here we are on our way to the airport. Um, I believe my house is like 7 to 10 minutes from the airport, so it's not that far. But yeah, here we are, y'all. And here's me guys after like six hours and I still have two more hours to go because I'm going to Glenwood, Colorado, which is about two hours from Denver. So yeah, still a long ride y'all, bear with me. Show you how to move. 
and after two hours you guys i was finally able to make it to my location and as you can see here's me in my hotel room And here's me again as you can see and i don't know about y'all but this face doesn't look friendly so we have to go get some food but before that let me show y'all my little room here's my bed some decorations and my furniture and this is gonna be my place for the next four days y'all but here's the view We finally made it to the restaurant and it was kind of crazy because it was really raining and snowy in Glenhood. But by the time we got to this new city, which is like 30 minutes from Glenhood, it was perfectly fine. It wasn't raining, it wasn't snowing. But yeah guys, the food was definitely giving. It was 10 out of 10 for me. And I had a friend with me. Um, This is what he got. The food was definitely giving what it was supposed to give y'all. So I can't really complain. This was all I needed. We decided to drive back to Glenhood and spend some time at the Iron Mountain Hot Spring. I mean, this place is just so beautiful, you guys. Look at the view. They have some good food, good music. The people are so friendly. I mean, this was all I needed after my long day, you guys. And here's me eating again, you guys. I mean, <laughs> yeah, one thing about me, I'll eat my food for real, for real. But honestly, you guys, this was a perfect way to end my night. And after a few hours, it started to snow again, you guys. I mean, this city is just fucked up, y'all. <laughs> but hey, I knew exactly what I was getting, so I'm not even surprised. And right after when I thought the night was over, you guys, my friend was like, no, we're not done. I need you to go get changed because we have somewhere to go. And I was like, oops stay less so here's me in my hotel room you guys making sure the outfit is giving and it was so and little did i know we we're going to the club i mean this was just all i needed y'all had to get me some drink not too much now just a little to get turned up you know what i mean <laughs> But here's some friends. I mean, this night was just so fun. This was a good way to end my night. All I needed was just to have fun. Exactly what I got. Anywho, here's me the next morning, you guys. 
And you know the night was lit when you wake up and your hair is fucked up. <laughs> I mean, but for real, last night I was turned up. It was lit. It was exactly all I needed. But let me put my glasses on because, you know, the girl can't see with her glasses. And I need them. But, yeah, not really a morning person. I Damn, it feels good when you jump on it. Scars on my chest like you own it. You can have my last name if you want it. If you want it. If you want it. Dear girl, we don't even have to stop it. Take you higher than a real rocket. You can have my last name if you want it. If you want it. If you want it. Yeah. Your body's out in motion. Again, here's me after my morning shower. And guys, is it only me? But I feel like a bit looking different without my glasses, y'all. Like, I don't even know who this is. I'm so used to my glasses that I, when I take them off, I'll be like, hmm. Is that really me? <laughs> And here's my final look after my makeup. I mean, it's giving you. Look at my hair, look at the lips. Ooh, child, baby. And my outfit. I mean, it's giving. What is it giving? It's giving. Um, it's giving rich vibe. It's giving um like somebody's wife You can have my last name if you want it. If you want it. If you want it. Anywho, guys, here's me on my way to our next place. And I'll see you guys when we get there. And here we are guys at the Rocky Mountain in Colorado. There's so many stuff going on here. So we're going to go ahead and explore. Maybe we'll find some stuff here. They have some good food. They have restaurants and have a lot of activities going on here. But with the way I'm dressing, I don't know if I'll have to do them.
comfortable jumping into something new right now oh, I don't really know and even though everything was fine we ended up leaving because we didn't want to be late on our next event so we had to go And as you can see, here we are, you guys. It was kind of hard for me to record because, you know, when you're somewhere and everyone is having a good time and it's like you're the only one recording, but I had no option, y'all. <laughs> it is what it is. I was just trying to my best because, mm -mm. but yeah, again, it was time to go. After that, we decided to go to a different hot spring. I know there is few hot springs in Glenwood. So we just wanted to go see what kind of vibe this one was giving. And honestly, once we got there, the place was beautiful. I mean, it was fine, but it was kind of crowded. And it's just not what I expected. So we didn't take that long. And we decided to go to the first one, the one that I showed you guys, which is the Iron Mountain Hot Spring. And here we are, you guys, as you can see, this place is more beautiful, in my opinion. I mean, it's just not as crowded as the other one. They had some good food. As you can see here, they had some good music. And the vibe was more late over here, so I don't even regret coming here. But after a few hours, we had to go home and get some sleep because the girl was tired. It's Sunday morning, you guys, and today will be my last day here in Glenwood, Colorado. And as you all may know, I am not a morning person, but here just me in the bed scrolling through my phone. And also texting my Uber, because there's not really much Ubers, so I had to make sure this man was on time. And here he was, his eyes on our way to my last activity here in Glenwood. We finally made it to the Gandala place, you guys. I don't know the name of the city. That's why I'm even calling it Gandala. But surprisingly, there was no snow. But here is me riding the Gandala up to the mountain. 
they had a lot going on on the mountain i mean from the stores the restaurants the rides it was just so beautiful And here's me you guys my lips are kind of dry and that's because it's snowing and raining at the same time and i was super cold but after a few minutes my friend sent a ride and he was like hey come hang out my house for a few minutes before you go and i was like say less so here's me and my uber on our way to my friend's house I didn't get to spend enough time with my friend because I have to leave and go catch the train. Um, they don't have airports in Glen Hood and the only option there was for me was to ride a train and that's exactly what I did. So here we are on our way from Glen Hood to Denver. And finally, after two hours of driving, we made it. And here's me at the airport, finishing some work on my laptop, you know, traveling and working at the same time, baby. Both moves. <laughs> And I think I was the first person at my gate because I stayed for hours but we finally made it. And this was a night flight to you guys and that's because I wanted to be home the first thing in the morning. And as you can see, here's me. Actually, my sister came to pick me up and here we are driving from the airport to my house. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching.